Hi, this is Dave from I Found Agent, and in this video, we're just going to do a call it a general overview for Lion Desk, uh, specifically for using with uh, Lion Desk. Uh, I'm not, you know, an expert in Lion Desk, uh, only to, you know, how we use it, you know, for our clients. So, you know, I just want to go over a couple things. So. Um, for myself, when I first started working with it, I did go over to the online help and I started watching the training videos here. I did that first. Uh, I can promise you this, you know, this is not just going to come to you. You do, it, there is some value in just starting to watch the videos first. Um, and that just helped me a lot with uh, you know, keeping me from pounding my head against the wall. But it, it is a very simple system to use. And I'll, I'm just going to point out some of the most commonly used things by our agents or the you know, things they have questions about. So we're going to cover that in this video. Uh, the first thing I do every day, because I use this for myself or our business, is I go to the dashboard. And I just like to see, you know, I come down here to recent activity. I just like to see who's opening my emails. You know, are they clicking or have I gotten any texts? Because it just gives me an idea who I need to call first. You know, who are the hot prospects? You know, back when I was a realtor, back in the early 90s, uh, we didn't have the style. You know, I'd get up. I had no idea, you know, who I needed to call. So, um, you know, this really helps out a lot. So after that, you know, we have, uh, we want to set up some drip email campaigns. Well, actually, let's first, let's take a look at, you know, just integrating with the the IDX to the CRM. So once you've created a post uh, or a search, you're just going to click on this blue envelope and you have some drop downs. You know, default is this template here. And uh, I have some different options that we have by default built in. We have a past client. Here's your monthly market update, <coughs> home valuation. Here's uh, thanks for your home valuation inquiry. And then we can add some other templates also. And that is, let's see, I haven't done that in a while. Uh, right here. So you go into IFA IDX settings, you can go to CRM templates. And this is where we can adjust the copy for what is being sent out. So there's actually one, you can add another template. So you can have four templates. These are pretty basic. You can change these, change, delete them, add, you know, add whatever you want. So uh, what you do need to keep in is this short code. If you delete that, it's not going to send the data to the CRM. So just want to point that out. All right. So now we want to make a drip email campaign. So we're going to go to marketing. And the first thing we need to do is set up uh, a template. So we're going to, uh, Create a new folder. We'll just call this the demo template Dave for now. And this will just be for the uh, video demo Lion Desk. So we're going to save that. And this is the temp. So I can, go, if I click on, this is the, the folder I just set up. If I click on uh, the template, I can see that there is. Uh, I, there's nothing in there yet. So I need, I need to add those. So uh, if I want to add a couple emails, I need to add, create an email template and we'll just call it, uh, this one will be number one. And this is just a test template. And you know, again, whatever you're going to put in there. And, uh, if I wanted to pull in the client's first name from the client record, I'm going to click on uh, this Lion Desk button here, insert the Lion Desk vari variable, uh, customer first name, insert. Uh, if you, I don't know if you noticed, but there's also, I can insert video if I have one. So I'm not going to get too much into that on this video, but you know, I can record a video, upload one I have. These are just some screencasting ones I did on myself. I could just click and 
drop that right into this email. So anyway, we're not going to do that on this one. So this is going to be a template one. I'm going to save this into the demo template Dave folder that we set up. So let's save that one. Um, if I want to make another email template, let's call this the second one. Again, I want to add the first name. Um, the other thing you can do, it's, you know, you could actually add this code to the subject line here. So it could be whatever their first name, Dave, you know, have you, what, anyway, whatever you're going to put in the subject, have you seen this or, Hey, check this out. Um, again, let's put the copy. And we'll put that in the folder. If I want to create a text template, click, click on uh, create text template. So the description, we'll just call this demo text number one. Hey, uh, have you seen any houses you like? Let me know if you would like to see any. So we'll save the text. All right, so this by itself is not a campaign. Uh, we need to go over to Autopilot Drip Campaigns. And uh, now we're going to create a new Autopilot routine. So in this one, we'll just call it uh, Demo Lion Desk. Uh, video. So now I have the uh, the pilot here and I want to add some tasks to it. So I need to go to add a new task to the drip campaign and I'm going to select a, let's do a text first and we'll have it go out immediately. So I can adjust if it goes out immediately or you know it can go out a few days later or a spe specific date, or it's just one that's going to continue to go out, you know, however you want to do it. That's a recurring. So let's add uh, that. So we're going to pick out, uh, so I put all those in demo template Dave, and there's the text. And now I want to add a new, let's do an email. So we're going to do email contact. Select template, demo template Dave. And this I want to go out one day later at 10 a.m. So we'll add that task. Um, let's add another task. Let's do an email. Select the template, demo template Dave. Um, let's do the test template, we'll have that go out three days later at, I like 10 a.m. because most people, you know, their morning emails, they just get through as quick as pop possible. You want to make sure that they see these. So let's add the task. And I can add, actually keep reusing this. I may want a text to go out again. So let's select a text. And this I want to go have this go out six days later at that's yeah, like 10 30 a.m. Add that task. And it's it's the same text, we're just using it twice. And I can come back and use the same, you know, the, the same email again also. And we want to have this go out. We'll have this go out in 10 days at 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. So that's how you would just set up a, I call it a, you know, a mixed campaign. It's got uh, uh, emails and texting. So uh, maybe you just want an email campaign. Well, just, you know, we can delete, you know, out the text campaigns if you want. Um, anyway, pretty easy to do. Um, I, I like the I do like the texting campaigns. 
So for example, you know, as an agent, if I wanted to really just automate my requests for referrals, I might set up a text campaign to go out to my database, you know, two, three, maybe four times a year to say, you know, a text saying, hey, this is Dave. Who do you know that's most likely to buy or sell in the next 30 to 60 days? So let's run through quickly how to set up a, uh, you know, a just a request for referrals, we'll call it. So let's add a new folder. We'll call it uh, referral request. So let's save that. And that should be here. So let's go to templates. And uh, this actually will be pretty easy. So I can just create a text template. We'll just call it referral request. And I'm going to just make a text message. Uh, hey, this is Dave Mason. Who do you know? Buy or sell a home in the next 30 to 60 days. So let's save the text. Um, actually, I don't need, oh, whoops. Actually, I put this in the wrong place. So I'm just going to grab this. Oh, I, I didn't. Um, so anyway, I clicked on the wrong thing. OK, it's there. So now I'm going to create an autopilot um, that's just going to automatically ask for referrals from a specific client. So let's add in the new autopilot. We'll just call it referral request. And let's go to the folder. I'm going to P. Here it is. Tasks. Add new drip campaign. Tasks. Type, call it a text contact from referral request. And this is going to go out every, make it a recurring, repeats every 120 days, starts immediately, ends after. I mean, I can have this thing go indefinitely. And it'll go to 2000. 84. So uh, hopefully I'm retired by then. Actually, that's the only point we're going to have some humor in this in this video. Hopefully you, you like that. Anyway, actually, that wasn't too funny. But, you know, the point of this, I can have this. This is going to go out three times a year now. And definitely it's going to be asking for a referral. Who do you know that's most likely to buy or sell in the next 30 to 60 days? So pretty easy to set up. I like this one a lot. You could also do a request for you know, a home valuation, <clears throat> maybe a couple times a year. Who do you know that's most likely to buy or sell, you know, in the next 30 to 60 days? So anyway, um, that's pretty much the basics. I mean, if you if you can learn this and really implement this, this is going to do a lot for your real estate business and taking you out of the equation uh, for, you know, consistent, you know, follow-ups and quality touch points with your clients. So I uh, hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, just email support at ifoundagent.com. Thank you.